Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about Arizona bark scorpion The Arizona bark scorpion is a small but potentially deadly arachnid native to the Sonoran Desert of the United States and southwestern Mexico. Adult males only grow to about 3.14 inches and females up to 7 inches. These resilient creatures live up to 7 years on average with some known to live as long as 9 years. During nuclear testing by the United States, bark scorpions found at ground zero showed no negative side effects from exposure. Incredible Arizona bark scorpion facts. Arizona bark scorpion gestation is the same as humans, which is nine months. An average of 30 babies are born to females in one litter surviving hot, dry summers in extreme desert conditions. The scorpions hibernate in groups of up to 40 for winter. Their sting is potentially deadly to humans. How to identify Arizona bark scorpions The Arizona bark scorpion is brown with two body segments, the cephalothorax and abdomen. It has eight legs and two pedipalps that look like miniature crab or lobster claws. These pedipalps are used to sense the environment and grab prey. The tail that curls up over the body has five segments with a stinger at the end. Males measure up to 8 cm long and females typically grow to 7 cm with both sexes average weight at around 2 ounces. When the Arizona bark scorpion stings a human, it is believed that its deadly venom travels through the victim's body by way of the lymphatic system. Once stung, the victim suffers pain immediately at the sting site. Within 4 hours, the symptoms set in and can prove deadly. Emergency treatment is necessary after a sting. In sting victims given Arizona bark scorpion antivenom, symptoms were relieved within 30 minutes for 71% of patients. Goats are used by scientists to make antivenom for human treatment. Where to find Arizona bark scorpions Arizona bark scorpions are native to the Sonoran Desert of Arizona, also living in Baja California and Chihuahua. Their range extends from southern Arizona into southern California, western New Mexico and northern Mexico. They thrive in warm climates and hibernate in winter. The scorpions are easy to find throughout the Grand Canyon and even on the canyon walls. Its common name comes from the creature's ability to climb high into trees or on rock walls. But it also lives on and beneath the ground level, under rocks and in crevices. In people's homes they are found on walls, in dark spaces like closets, at the base of toilets, in shoes or trapped in sinks and bathtubs. Centroroids sculpturatus lives, travels and hibernates for the winter in groups of up to 40 individuals. A sighting of one of these scorpions means many more are likely nearby, usually hidden from view. Female scorpions can have 30 or more young at once. These scorpions live on the mother's back until they molt the first time, sometime between one and three weeks. Where to find Arizona bark scorpions Arizona bark scorpions are native to the Sonoran Desert of Arizona also living in Baja California and Chihuahua. Their range extends from southern Arizona into southern California, western New Mexico and northern Mexico. They thrive in warm climates and hibernate in winter. The scorpions are easy to find throughout the Grand Canyon and even on the canyon walls. Its common name comes from the creature's ability to climb high into trees or on rock walls. But it also lives on and beneath the ground level, under rocks and in crevices. In people's homes they are found on walls, in dark spaces like closets, at the base of toilets, in shoes or trapped in sinks and bathtubs. Centroroids sculpturatus lives, travels and hibernates for the winter in groups of up to 40 individuals. A sighting of one of these scorpions means many more are likely nearby, usually hidden from view. Female scorpions can have 30 or more young at once. These scorpions live on the mother's back until they molt the first time sometime between one and three weeks. What do Arizona bark scorpions eat? Arizona bark scorpions are true predators. Thanks to their highly venomous stinger and pedipalps, they are well armed to grab and immobilize their prey within milliseconds. Still, many animals consider these threatening creatures tasty prey. 